Have you ever wondered if plants lead a secret life that we don't understand? It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? Many of us see plants as passive, static entities that merely exist. But what if I told you that's a common misconception? That the green life around us isn't as passive as we've been led to believe? Plants have an unseen behavior, a secret life if you will. They communicate, respond to their environment, and even form memories. Yes, you heard that right, plants form memories, they live a life far more dynamic and interactive than we ever imagined. This astonishing world of plant behavior is right under our noses, or rather, under our feet. And it's time we peel back the green curtain to reveal these hidden interactions. So buckle up as we delve into this incredible world of plant behavior. What if we told you that plants communicate not in words but through a language of their own? Yes, you heard that right. Plants have a secret language, a sophisticated communication system that is as fascinating as it is complex. And it's all about chemicals. Consider a serene forest, a silent symphony of towering trees and sprawling greenery. But beneath this tranquility lies a bustling city-like network of communication. When a plant is under attack, let's say from a ravenous insect, it releases volatile organic compounds into the air. These compounds drift to neighboring plants, alerting them of the impending danger. It's like a silent whisper in the wind, a warning cry that prompts other plants to ramp up their production of defensive toxins to ward off the invaders. It's an early warning system of the plant world, an SOS signal if you will. But the conversation doesn't stop there. Below the surface, in the rich, earthy soil, a similar dialogue is happening. Plants are connected through a complex network of fungal threads, a system so intricate it's often referred to as the wood wide web. Through this network, plants can share resources. A tree soaking up the sun might share some of its sugar bounty with a shaded neighbor, and in return, it might receive vital nutrients mined from the soil. It's a mutually beneficial exchange, a subterranean conversation that forms the basis of a thriving plant community. So, you see, plants are not the silent stationary beings we often perceive them to be. They're engaged in a constant chatter, a chemical conversation that helps them survive, thrive, and coexist in harmony. It's an intricate dance of give and take, of warnings and offerings, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of nature. Intriguing, isn't it? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Plants don't just exist in their environment, they respond to it. Now that's something to ponder over, isn't it? Let's explore this a bit further. You see, plants have a secret language of sorts, a silent dialogue with their surroundings. This interaction is a complex ballet of responses and reactions that we're only just beginning to understand. Take phototropism for instance, it's a fancy term for a simple concept. Plants grow towards light. It's a survival strategy, really. The more sunlight a plant can soak up, the better it can photosynthesize and the better it can grow. Then there's thigmotropism. It's another one of those big words that describe a basic idea. Plants respond to touch. Think about a vine winding its way up a trellis. It's not just growing randomly. It's actively seeking support, responding to the physical contact with the trellis by growing around it. Now did you know that plants are also gravity-sensing beings? This phenomenon, known as gravitropism, helps roots grow downwards into the soil for stability and water absorption, while shoots grow upwards towards the light. But the plant's dialogue with its environment doesn't stop there. Plants can also respond to pressure changes, temperature shifts, and even the presence of other plants. And here's the kicker. Some studies suggest that plants may even respond to sound. Yes, you heard that right, sound. There's a whole field of study called plant bioacoustics that's exploring this fascinating idea. So the next time you see a plant, remember that it's not just a static entity. It's a dynamic organism continually responding to, interacting with, and adapting to its environment. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We're still learning, still discovering the many ways in which plants communicate with their world. It's a captivating topic, isn't it? But we're not done yet. If you thought that was fascinating, wait until you hear about plant memories. Did you know plants have a form of memory? Yes, you heard that right. Plants, much like us, have an intriguing ability to remember past experiences and use this information to inform their future behavior. This might sound surprising. After all, plants don't have brains, right? Well, while they may not have brains like humans or animals, they do have their own way of storing and retrieving information. Consider the Venus flytrap, a fascinating example of plant memory in action. This carnivorous plant has a unique hunting mechanism that relies heavily on its memory. The Venus flytrap is equipped with sensitive trigger hairs on the inside of its trap. 
When an unsuspecting insect lands on the plant and brushes against one of these hairs, the plant takes note but doesn't immediately snap shut. Instead, it waits. Here's where the plant's memory comes into play. If the same trigger hair is touched again within 20 seconds, the plant recalls the initial contact and reacts swiftly, snapping its trap shut to capture its prey. The Venus flytrap has essentially remembered the first touch and uses this memory to make an informed decision about when to close its trap. This form of memory is not exclusive to the Venus flytrap. Numerous other plants have their own mechanisms for recalling past experiences. These mechanisms enable plants to adapt their behavior in response to changing environmental conditions, and even anticipate future events based on past experiences. So, what does this tell us? It tells us that plants are more than just static organisms. They are dynamic beings that interact with their environment in complex and intelligent ways. They remember, they adapt, and they respond. They may not have brains but they certainly have a form of intelligence that deserves our respect and admiration. So plants are more than just static organisms, they are dynamic beings with their own form of intelligence. Next time you walk past a plant, remember it's not just standing there, it's living, remembering and responding to the world around it. Now that we've explored the secret life of plants, what does this mean for us? Well, it's a question that opens up a world of possibilities. Understanding plant behavior has the potential to revolutionize many areas of our life, from agriculture and environmental conservation to even space travel. Imagine, for instance, a world where our crops communicate their needs to us. A world where we can understand when they are under stress, need water, or are being attacked by pests. It sounds like science fiction but these possibilities are becoming reality as we delve deeper into the language of plants. This knowledge could enable us to grow healthier, more productive crops, and reduce our reliance on harmful pesticides. Similarly, understanding how plants respond to their environment can have significant implications for environmental conservation. Plants are the lungs of our planet, absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. They also play a crucial role in maintaining the health of our ecosystems. By understanding their behavior we can develop strategies to protect them and by extension, the planet. Take for instance the phenomenon of tree communication we discussed earlier. If trees in a forest are indeed communicating and supporting each other, then indiscriminate logging could disrupt these networks with potentially devastating consequences. Our newfound knowledge could help us manage our forests more sustainably. Even space travel could benefit from understanding plant behavior. As we dream of colonizing other planets, we'll need to take a piece of Earth with us. Plants will be crucial for producing oxygen and food. Understanding how they behave in different environments will be key to cultivating them in space. But perhaps the most profound implication of these discoveries is how they can shift our perspective on nature and our place within it. We've traditionally viewed plants as passive organisms, existing merely as a backdrop to the bustling animal kingdom. But as we've seen, plants lead active, complex lives. They communicate, respond, remember. They are in their own way sentient beings. This new understanding can imbue us with a deeper respect for nature. We can begin to see ourselves not as lords over nature but as part of a vast, interconnected web of life. It can remind us of our responsibilities as stewards of the earth, to protect and preserve it for future generations. So, there you have it. A journey into the hidden world of plant behavior. A world that's happening all around us yet largely invisible to the naked eye. A silent yet incredibly active form of life. Next time you pass by a plant remember there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. The secret life of plants has been revealed to us and it's a world that's as fascinating as it is important. As we continue to explore this world, who knows what other secrets we'll uncover.